If you're going to Oahu or planning a trip in the future, there are a lot of things to do and see. The east side of the island has an abundance of great hikes with amazing views, a lot of which are long and some are dangerous. If you're looking for something a little more doable that doesn't take up your whole day, then there's a short hike to put at the top of your list, the Lanikai Pillboxes. To access this trailhead, make your way to the upscaled neighborhood of Lanikai, the southern part of Kailua. You'll have to park in the surrounding neighborhood and walk to the end of Kelepulu Drive. There you will see a sign which leads to the trail. The best time to do this hike is during the week, I would say 3 p.m. or later. That way the sun is above or behind you. If you come during the week, it can be very difficult to find a parking spot and this trail is known for having over a thousand visitors a day. You may have to park at the Kailua boat ramp and walk about a half a mile to the trailhead. I'm not going to show every step of the hike, but I broke it down into some shorter segments in order to give you a feel for the terrain. A couple hundred yards into the hike gets pretty steep, but not too steep that you can't walk up unassisted. But there are ropes if you need a little extra help. As you can see, if you come during or after some rain, it will be very slippery and muddy. Once you reach the first viewpoint, which is only about five minutes or so into the hike, you'll start to feel a nice breeze blowing through your wig, which at this point will feel great because you will have already started to sweat. If you look back as you head up, you will start to get a good view of the Mid Pacific Country Club golf course. There's a small rocky incline until you reach the next landing. From here, it's a nice gradual walk until you hit the exposed rocks. This trail is 1.8 miles out and back with a 650 foot gain of elevation, pretty much exposed to the sun the whole time. The only shade you'll find is if you actually climb down into the pillboxes. I've seen people do this hike in sandals before, and it's doable, but most people should wear a decent pair of tennis shoes. Once you get to the top, you not only have sweeping views of Kailua and Lanikai, but also a panoramic view of the Kualoa Mountains and the Waimanalu Coast as well. This part requires three points of contact because it's steeper with some loose gravel and very easy to take a nasty spill, rip your new yoga pants, and wind up on a stretcher. Aside from the steep part with the ropes at the beginning, this part is probably the most difficult part of the entire hike, and it's not really that challenging. It's like climbing a steep, jagged staircase with poisonous snakes everywhere. Well, maybe not the poisonous snakes part, but that would be cool if there were. Once you get to the top of this rock formation, you're just about to the first pillbox. At the top of the hike, you'll have panoramic views of the east coast as well as Moko Nui and Moko Iki, the two small islands that sit just off the coast of Lanikai. To get to the first pillbox is only about 15 minutes, assuming you only take a couple short breaks. The second pillbox is only about two minutes more and you can see it the whole time. These pillboxes date back to 1943 and were used as artillery observation stations and have never actually held any type of weapons. The pillboxes sit on four acres that are owned by the Department of Land and Natural Resources. After a little hydration break at the first pillbox, there's no way you can just stop here. Like I mentioned earlier, it's only a hop, skip, and a jump to the peak, and who wants to say they only made it to the first one?
I'll leave you with this 360 degree pano shot of the second pillbox. Once you make it to the top, you could keep going on the trail, but I don't think there's much else to see. Although I have heard there is a third, smaller pillbox, I've never actually seen it. If you've hiked past the second pillbox and there is something to see, let us know in the comments.